everybody this is the common the entrance and now i will turn it over to john to uh explain a little bit more about where we are okay this is the commons entrance which which enters on the north side of the building coming from the rink side of the school and uh, when you walk in here you're walking in on the ground floor uh, which is different from the main entrance which walks in on the first floor and then and once inside you can see uh, this is the cafeteria area, the commons area, and it has a grand stair that goes up to a bridge, which is an extension of the media center or the library, which is up on the second floor in the back there. And on the first floor in the back is the main entrance of the school, uh, which is the upper commons where you walk in and you go to the administration offices. All right, guys, it's a little loud. They're installing the floor right now, but as you can see, there's some basketball courts. Um, there can be volleyball courts. Track up above. This is a very big space. Let's see if I can get everything for everybody. All right, let's continue the tour. So it's still a little loud. We're still in the gym, but up here is where the branding is going to be on the east and west walls. Uh, you can see the start of it up there as of right now. And now we're going to go check out how they do the floors. We're going to take a little video of Rich uh, installing some of the hardwood floor. The company's Kenvo Floor. They're doing a great job on the parquet down here. That's how a basketball floor is installed. And they're installing some terrazzo floor over here on the other side. John, what's that room gonna be? That's the hallway between the gym and the auditorium. Hi everybody, this is Clancy from the town manager's office and we are taking a tour of the new Bill Ricker Memorial High School. Currently we are on the first floor and we are gonna peek into a uh, brand new classroom. So John, you wanna tell us anything about it or? Sure. Okay, this is a typical classroom. We're right now in the middle wing, uh, the middle finger, basically. You can edit that out if you want. <laughs> but uh, uh, this is the teacher's wall, and uh, every classroom is going to have a whiteboard with a short throw projector and a monitor in the other corner. So that is a view of a classroom, and we will uh, continue our tour. All right, we're popping out of the classroom right now. We're going to take a look and see what one of the uh, brand new bathrooms looks like. All right, this is a student's bathroom. It's airport style. So on the, the right of the hall, you have the boys. On the left, you have the girls in the sinks and hand dryers, etc. on the front. Uh, so take a look. Hi everybody, now we are on the second floor. We're going to pop into one of the teacher's planning rooms. Um, when they're not having class, this is where they would go to do some of their, um, their planning. Do you got any uh, details for us? Yeah, so the teachers will have you know assigned storage, it's space to sit. There'll also be a table in here that they could sit and maybe uh, eat brunch or something. And they're also gonna have a refrigerator with filtered water. So after coming out of the teacher's planning room, the guidance office is uh, pretty close right by. So these are a couple examples of an office. So we took a quick trip down the stairs and now we are in the preschool. So these are the cubbies for the preschoolers um, and we are going to be walking into one of the classrooms. So this is one of the classrooms, um, much larger seems like than some of the other ones. But one of the different things about the uh, preschool classrooms is that they have um, shared and joining bathrooms. Um, we will give you a quick peek in there, show you some of the smaller fixtures compared to um, what the other ones were like. Sink in here, some storage. And then you just walk through directly into um, another classroom. John, tell us about a little bit where we're going next. All right, the, I'm showing you now that the preschool has its own entrance on the north side of the building. It consists of the lower floor only, the first two wings of that lower floor, and it has its own entrance. 
John, tell us where you're from. I'm from Billerica, Massachusetts, North Billerica. And adjacent to the entrance is a playground that will be ready for the students when they move in in the spring. I tried to convince John and Tony to go down the slide, but they weren't having it. So this is a quick little video of where the servery is. If you were going to come down and grab something to eat from April Lasky, this is where it would be. Kitchen's behind. All right, so we've left the basketball courts, and now this is a little sneak peek for the uh, Bill Rick Memorial High School basketball team. This is what your locker room is going to look like. Um, we'll take a quick peek. These are the bathrooms, and then these are what the showers are going to look like in here. And then we're going to take a quick walk back towards the, uh, the team room. Then John, explain to us a little bit about what the team room so this is, is. This room is for when there's games, or uh, you know, maybe the football team is doing their stuff here when they go out to practice. And so there's a lot bigger lockers that will hold equipment, and also there's an area uh, for halftime and such where you have a whiteboard and you can strategize. Got to drop those plays to beat Chelmsford. So everybody, this is the band room that we're in right now. As you can see, plenty of space to write the notes, the music. And then we got uh, individual practice rooms for individual uh, instruments. So we are in the auditorium right now. They're doing a little bit of work and construction, but this is what it looks like. Um, what'd you say, they're putting ash in the? Yeah, a ton and groove ash panels going on the ceiling and in the walls, right here at the, the first level of the seating area. And we have it closed off to the stage right now because we have to control the conditions here because the ash needs to be in a certain range of relative humidity to be installed. Wanted humidifiers to make sure that we maintain the, the requirements. Awesome. So we are going to go upstairs and see uh, see what the auditorium looks like. All right, everybody. This is the auditorium. The view from up top. As you can see, we're still doing some work. Looks great, though. Can't wait to watch uh, some shows in here. All right, everybody, we are in the Black Box Theater right now. There's no other uh, building like this in any other high school in the state. Um, this was uh, kind of copied from Emerson College, so you'll be able to see productions and theaters in here um, still in progress, so we can't wait to come back and see what it looks like when it's finished. All right, everybody, so we are now down on the stage. That's where we were up there, but now we were on the stage. Um, you can see up here, this is where all the rigging is. John, you got anything else for us? Uh, this is called fly space. They use this rigging for lights and for, for props and for scenery to go up and down. Wow. All right, everybody, we are currently standing on the orchestra pit. Um, once this, once they're all done with some of this heavy machinery that they have in here, they will be pulling this wood out and this will be dropped down about three feet. So our tour is getting ready to conclude. So this is the main entrance, and this is um, the common area where we were before. Take another quick view of it. Looks great. So this is the outside of the building, as you can see. Is it all closed off, or? Yeah, we just have one curtain wall left to go in. Uh, we, left, we left that out as long as possible because it's the only way we can load things in and take drive. I want to give a quick shout out to our tour guides, John and Tony. Thank you for taking us on the tour. Uh, the Bill Ricker residents really appreciate it.